I was super annoyed my upper camera rig was not centered, so I made this. Hey. Yeah, mm, I don't know, maybe it worked, mm, maybe it won't work. <laughs> Too late now. You're not really centered, but it's better than it was before. Oh, hi. It's bra over top day. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start wearing my bras like this forever. It's so much more comfortable. Not having any pressure directly on my skin. Oh, the days will be bra over top day. Uh -huh. From now on. My allergies. Hello, welcome to Keep or Eat, where I test things so you don't have to. And this time I got a lot of cheap, plasticky sewing machines from Wish. I don't think I'll survive this one, but we'll see, we'll see. And another one, and another one. I am sure I will find more, because I got it a lot. already filmed this. This is a generic sewing machine with a lot of stitches. Yeah, I definitely already filmed the intro for these, so let's go back a little bit. Although my shopping experience was very quick, like I got the things two or three weeks after I ordered them, I don't remember anymore what I got. So let's try everything. This one is heavy. Oh wow, it's a sewing machine. 38 stitches. Wow, it's more than my brother wants. 44. I'm still in search for the perfect portable sewing machine as well as the perfect needle threader Yesak manual and the machine it's not as portable as I expected to be honest quite big it's smaller than a normal machine but it's not that small you have the arm which you can remit, remove a bigger sewing space the food the cable some other sewing bits mostly needles a few bobbins and a needle threader and a presser foot button attachment interesting another pom pom user manual we don't need it it has a bobbin winder which is nice kind of heavy in in the movements oh and there's a light the stitches are kind of weird in this test stitching that they left behind well, they're not really the same throughout <laughs> don't know what this will be the bobbin winder thingy there's a bobbin here that's supposed to be for the needle or the upper thread fancy thread cutter on the side all of them fans stitches and it also comes with a buttonhole foot from what I understand here you left the letters a b c and d the number for the program so if I put a1 it will be a longer stitch so in c1 is a smaller stitch so this is the positioning of the needle so if I want centered needle small stitches then it would be c2 wow <laughs> this is a free form so machine and it comes arm mounted my god are you dirty this is gonna be really loud Sorry nice when there's already like molten styrofoam on the cable it's a very good sign definitely i might not survive this i thought it would be flimsier however the cables are very short one and a half meter cable for the foot foot control for the foot thing i think i might need to go to the other table this is not gonna work here because first i don't have the energy the electricity and second the cables are way too short let's move Oh, I'm sitting at a normal table and the foot barely touches the floor. It's very nice. It's, it's very beautiful. It's very great. I'm doing this on top of the pom pom train. I have no space anymore. What is why to, to turn it on? There's one and two. What does that mean? What does it do? What the hell? Let's start with one. <laughs> But if there is a foot control, why do I need foot? Turning the lights on and off, off and on. Ah. Ah. Two different speeds. If you're not using the foot, then you move it to one or two. If you are, then just press the foot and it will work. This is needle position one, two, and three. Two center. And I want the mollus stitch. There is a release lever for the presser foot. That's cool. You have to generally buy this separately. There's just one speed with the foot. It's either on or off. Bigger stitches, biggest stitches. It has reverse stitch, but it's very weird to use. It's a very chunky thread I'm using, and yes. I think the bobbin is not in the correct place, or something is not threaded correctly. A mess. Oh god. Let me rethread this. There's nothing that allows me to change the tension on the thread here. That's weird. Tension wheel. However, you can see the wheel and when I moved the discs that put pressure on the thread are not moving at all. Because the problem is not the lower thread actually, it's the upper thread. The upper thread is too loose and that's why it's bunching in the bottom. It's not an easy machine to thread either. Everything is very small and close to each other. 
together and there's no much room for fingers and such. <laughs> I need a flashlight. Where's my phone? I lost my oh, phone. Oh yeah, now now we're talking. Now we have tension. Let's try it again. Let's twist again like we did last summer. Uh, I'm using the pedal between my knees, by the way. It's way too short. Oh, much better. Not the most amazing stitches I've ever seen in my life, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not terrible. I think the bobbin thread is also a little bit too loose. And I changed the tension of the bobbin. There is nothing here. <laughs> the thing doesn't want to catch the... See how the thread goes directly from the bobbin to the upper part without having any hooks, anything to control the tension of the bobbin? I'm gonna take this machine apart in a few minutes just to see if there's something that I'm doing wrong, but I don't think I am. <laughs> Some zigzag stitches, zigzag stitches. The widest and longest. It's okay in the back. Still a little bit weird. Upper thread is poking so much. Widest but short. Yeah, there's a lot of tension on the upper thread. That's why it's punching like this. Thinnest zigzag stitch. And the longest. And now as the last. One of the artistic stitches here. Four. That's the invisible hem stitch. Oh, <laughs> there's no rain anymore. The upper part. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all tangled. All tangled. Ew. Ew. Oh. Ew. This will never work as an invisible hand stitch. Forget about it. Forget about it. This needs to be like way further down for it to make the invisible stitch. Nope, nope. Let's try then. I have no idea what this is for. Number five. It's so wonky. They're not the same. How does that happen? How does this even happen? It's not the, even the same position. Why is this? Why is this? Anyway. Okay. Eh, the artistic or better different stitches are not that good. It sews one piece of fabric. Very well. well that's supposed to me. Just fold it in two give a little bit more chunk. It's fine. Four layers. Suffering a little bit. Can you hear the difference in the motor? Kind of bunching the fabric already. Let's try. Two layers of wool. Very thick wool. Two goes under the presser foot with not much trouble. Oh, it did pretty well. It did pretty, pretty well. I am a surprise. Positively sur- Positively. Positively surprised about this machine. For the price I pay for it, will it last forever? No way in hell. It's way too plasticky, too flimsy. Can I add batteries to this? No batteries either. And like for a travel machine to be for a stay-at-home machine maybe it won't last forever though and i don't know if it's worth the investment in something like this or just wait a few extra months and, and put more coins on your swear jar to be able to buy a decent beginner sewing machine for a little bit more money i don't think this is worth it i'm curious about the bobbin situation presser foot is there forever take off the needle so i don't hurt myself there and there is nothing to hold the bobbin thread. There is no tension on the bobbin thread and it's not actually possible to put any tension whatsoever. Expect some very wonky and weird stitches with this one. For the amount of stitches you get, even though there are, those are not quality stitches, it's kind of okay. Is this a toy or is this a sewing machine? I don't know. It did well. A small piece of thick wool that I use. That's a plus. Those cheap machines just don't to accept anything thick. And this one is going to our friend Sam in the UK because they needed a sewing machine and I don't have anything to do with this. I told them it's not gonna last forever. It will be put into good use. But it's so warm from two seconds moving. It's very uncomfortable. User manual cable. Of course, the presser foot. Talking about sending. I need to send Katie a pair of shoes for almost a year now. <sighs> Hopefully her feet didn't grow in the meantime. This video was kindly sponsored by my Patreon. <laughs> for this one. This is a tiny sewing machine. However, the box is destroyed. Totally destroyed. Battery operated. It looks very old. I guess if the box came from the 90s or something. So tiny, look at this. Oh my God. Comes with bobbins, another piece of something and a needle threader. And that's it. Try this one. Very well packed. Plastic. Oh wow, the thing's already broke and or falling apart. I don't know it's what... It's a one thread only machine that means it will be a chain stitch. I'm not sure what this is for. This is the wheel to move the needle up and down, which is kind of cute. I don't know why this is here. Why is this necessary? Change. I think this is just protection for the needle bar and the whatever. And it is battery operated. You can see the mechanism in there. Can I close this again? Will it 
fall down. And then just press. It's not broken, it just fell off. I suppose this is where you turn it on and off. A spring presser foot. The tension on the fabric comes both from this and the spring that's going to move the presser foot up Quite and down. Quite cute, actually. I kind of like it, how it feels in my hand. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is, what is this? What is this? Wait. Why is there a hole? AC jack. Oh my God, I can't put the energies. I don't know how. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Four, eight, I eight. I had adapters. I had uh, adapters. Well, none of these will fit, right? <laughs> this seems to be a very small one. Ah! I had a heart attack. I had... <laughs> oh, it worked. Stop. <gasps> it worked. Oh my god! Go up, please. And you go up as well. One sheet. One sheet of fabric. Down the needle. Down. And then... Kind of too quick for me. I wish it would be a little bit slower, but the stitches look fine. For being on a chain stitch, kind of annoying, but hey, it works. I'm really good in doing curves. A little bit too much. Oh, it didn't close the loops here. This is bad. I mean, it's so cute. It's so very cute. I love it. Is it good? I don't know. Try four layers of fabric. This is so good because then I can reuse the same piece of fabric hundreds of times. Four layers. Good. This is good. The stitches are better and more, way more, the word escapes me. More consistent than the machine I used in the car and I kind of like it. Although it's a little bit too quick for me. Love this. Just very sad that I don't have anything that really fits. Just this one here that's not really there. No mention of the size of the AC jack. Volt AC to DC transformer, not included. Oh, this is cute. This is very cute. Is it usable though? I don't know what you would do with something like this. Other than lose your mind in a car trying to sew a dress for your vacation. But isn't this the point? of such a sewing machine. I guess this is a key. I'm keeping it. I got this one because the ad was very, very, very dishonest. Because the guy is going through the machine as if the machine was either a normal size or a big one. And this is the same one that I already have over there that I used to sew sushi's sushi costume. And I was not expecting it to be anything else. I just wish I knew how many people bought this thinking it was a normal size machine. Batteries go in here. There's the foot thing. I can... Oh, I got an AC adapter. The child machine doesn't have one. Only battery operated. This is a plus. Let's see. Here I just thought out of quick curiosity, I have the other version of it and I already know it works. And it will so. Ew. 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 Foot oil. Blech. Oh no, presser foot is <laughs> kind of wonky. Oh God, I'm not happy. This is a two thread machine. The test stitch seems to be pretty okay. It also has a thread cutter here on the side. That doesn't cut threads because there is a space between the thread cutter and the support. <laughs> Also electric. It also comes with uh, one of those fancy feet thingies, which is the same. Ah! Oh, okay. Again, on and off or no pedal control or with pedal control, just press the pedal. This is for the speed. Can control the speed. It's amazing. Here you have a thingy so you can put your yarn, your, your thread. Pull and it goes in and out. It's very fancy. The wheel to control the needle. And it's kind of loud. And before I start complaining about the thing that I never used, let's compare the official one to the wish one. Oh, this is the original official for children thing. There is no AC jack. So it's just a battery operated thing. And my batteries are still here. Thank God they're not broken. Okay, this is the original one. This is the one from Wish. It also has the thingy up and down. It has no thread cutter and it has the same buttons here. It also came with a foot pedal. It's actually the same way to use it. This is the bottom. Like this one passed quality control and this one didn't. <laughs> but the rest is the same. Exactly the same. Even the wonky weird presser foot is the same. Let me see. The Wish one already has a plus point because you use it with either batteries or with the cable. Why? Kannst du bitte? Geh rein. Oh my god. It doesn't want to get in. <laughs> yeah, the batteries are there, but they're dead. So I don't think we're going to be able to compare the noise today. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna put the pedal between my knees again. It is a very short key. It is very loud. No tension on the upper thread at all. Better, but not 100%. <sighs> More. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's gonna get better than this. Let's go in full speed. I don't know why. I can't 
so straight line on this. I'm not a perfect straight line sewist anyways. Just a very loud machine. It's good that you can choose the speed. I'm actually curious to see how it's inside and how does it compare to the original one. Let's open them both, shall we? First, let's take everything that could shock me. Oh my god, wait a second. I did not see that. It has a light. Look, isn't it cute? <laughs> the original one does not have a light. We already have a positive point, but it would be so cool if I could actually add electricity to, to the original one. Wow, oh, look at that. <laughs> it is the cutest thing inside ever. Sometimes I'm alone, sometimes I'm not, sometimes I'm alone. Ooh, black. This is the wish machine. This is the original machine. Exactly the same inside, aside from a few parts that have different colors. Some of the pieces in the wish machine seem to be a little bit lower quality than the original one. Especially when it comes to the plastic bits. But the wish one has a metal bit here for the bobbin plating. Alas, this one is completely out of plastic. The wish one has jack entrance here. And this one can comes complete without and nothing that will make it work with electricity. <laughs> Do you don't know what this is for? Is this supposed to be a bobbin winder? I don't know. Can I fit a bobbin there? Bobbin, bobbin show up. This is a bobbin winder. Oh, how cute. This is a bobbin winder. Both of them <laughs> have it. Where is it? <gasps> I lost a piece. I will go forward and say that I prefer the Wish version. And this for a child as a beginner sewing machine, it will be very good. And especially if you don't need to rely on batteries to make it work. Since this one, you can actually plug it in a socket. Stay there. Mm -hmm. Close it and it's not working. Since the Wish one has lights, a thread cutter, and socket possibility, I would say yes, it's a key. The question is now, after I close it, will it work? I hope so. One thing that I need to check in the footage, if this gap already existed or <laughs> if I broke it. Whatever, keep! <laughs> another sewing machine. This is the same one that I have. Why did I get this? This is the same one I used in the car. There's nothing different about it. Was I scammed? Did I buy something else? And they sent me this instead. The very same thing. Gonna have fun sorting through this thing when I'm editing this video. It's a mess. <laughs> I checked through my records and yes, they bamboozled me. This is not what I order, but this is what I got. And I'm not going through that experience again. One time was enough. We know it works. Maybe not the way we want it to work, but it works. I'll take care of this now. I will be right back. Now to replace that one, I got another one that I wanted to test in another video, but since we got bamboozled, I'm gonna shove it in here. It was inspired by Wish, I didn't buy it on Wish, but I saw this. For this price, I think I can get the original one and some dupe, and also a different model. So this, <laughs> so this is the Singer Stitch Quilla, and it's a cordless mending machine. Pre threaded, ready to use. Creates a lock stitch using two threads, using desktop or handheld mode. Safety lock, what they claim they have. Wow. Storage, battery cover, two operation mode. I'm curious to know about the operational mode. A desktop operation and a handheld one. Think the desktop so that you don't need to keep pressing the button. Instruction. Oh god. It has same awful kind of crooked presser foot as the children's sewing machine operated by 48A batteries. So for the handheld mode, you have to press the button to keep it stitching. And on the desktop is one on and off. Ooh. The There's nothing else in there. Where is the storage? Oh. Oh, here. Ooh, so look at that. Isn't it fancy? It has a side story. Eh, back. <laughs> Needle bar up and down. It's in the left position, so I cannot change anything. Beautiful storage on the side. How though? Eh? Where does it go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't fall. We have these tiny pieces over here that will go there. It will fixate the bobbin in place. Will not allow it to fly around the room. Don't understand this. Why is this like this? How? How is it supposed to work? Where does it go? This doesn't fit here. And this also doesn't fit here. Fine, I'll read the instructions. Oh my god. I hate instructions. La la la. It doesn't say anything about that piece. Nice. 100,000 languages and they don't say anything about it. Oh my god, no. I am stupid. It doesn't go here. It goes here. <laughs> the bobbin. And then you put this here and you have that in the front. Is it a bobbin winder? Could be. To use AC DC adapter. Oh, you can also. <gasps> Look! It goes within AC DC. This is a 12 volt. <laughs> I voted. <hope it. laughs> 
Voltage. 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 Voltage.